Welcome to our Five on Five. Please welcome back former state senator uh, Jason Atkinson here in the Rogue Valley, now a Republican candidate for Oregon's second congressional seat in the U.S. Congress. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So you've been out of politics six years now. Mm -hmm. uh, why are you want to return for this for this gig? When I when I decided not to seek re-election, um, I did it for for personal reasons. Our son uh, was growing up in in Southern Oregon, and I didn't want to miss out. And um, so I always said it was a sabbatical and that I would return to public life. Um, like a lot of people, uh, when Congressman Walden made his decision, I asked myself if I was ready um, and uh, just made the decision a couple, couple la into last week and then formalizing filing today running for Congress. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty exciting. So you have some history with this seat. Care to, care to share that with our viewers? You know, when I was an undergrad, my very first job in politics, I was an intern for Congressman Bob Smith. Um, <laughs> Who, of on, course, preceded uh, Congressman Yeah, Walden. in this congressional district. Two years later, um, outspent four to one, and um, I ran uh, for state representative right after I finished uh, my graduate school and uh, won. And then two years later, I was outspent again and won and kept winning and, and served for, for 14 years in public life. And, and really put an emphasis on the things I campaigned on that first campaign, which was you know make people proud of of uh, public service. Public service is honorable, and do the very best constituent work you can. And that was you know, then my reputation in the legislature. I always knew I would return, and uh, it's been very flattering the support that has happened so far, and we're really excited. Yeah, 12 years in the Senate, mm -hmm. uh, two in the House. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us some examples of some of your bipartisan work that you did there? Sure. I mean, there's, uh, and also I was a Fish and Wildlife Commissioner in the mm -hmm. last couple of years for the second congressional district. But, it, you know, we worked on all kinds of things. I worked certainly on tax policy, um, trying to get capital gains taxes reduced in Oregon. Capital, Oregon, Oregon is very high. Uh, we worked tirelessly on uh, issues regarding meth and methamphetamine and people's addiction. I worked very hard on mental health issues and trying to get mental health services for folks both in rural Oregon and, and in urban Oregon. I think some of the things that I, that I crossed the line on, I worked very closely with members uh, of the Democratic Party uh, to get things done like restoration of the Capitol. Uh, higher ed funding, moving, uh, moving to what we have now for Southern Oregon and, uh, and OIT, which is an entrepreneurial model. So I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm very happy with what I did. In fact, um, serving in the, I served in the majority, and I served in the minority, and I served in a, a joint uh, split Senate at one, one session. And I was just as successful in the majority as I was in the minority just because of the relationship nature of getting things done for folks. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with former Oregon State Senator Jason Atkinson running for uh, Congressman Greg Walden's seat as a Republican in the 2nd Congressional District. Uh, we talked before about uh, bipartisan work in the Oregon legislature. What are you most proud of, of your work in the legislature? I, th I think the relationships, um, you know, I never, I never voted with uh, a couple of the last governors. In fact, I tried to take one of their jobs once. But I worked, I worked very closely with them. I, th I think, I think the, the work that I'm most bipartisan most proud of is the work that that we did with the movie a river between us so when i took a sabbatical from public life i devoted myself to getting a very large issue uh resolved in what ends up being the second congressional district and uh putting it on the map for the obama white house and and we had a very strong team very much like we've got on on this campaign and i'm very proud of it I was going to ask about that. How, how will that impact your policy if you're elected to this position? Well, I think some people will hate it. Some people will support it. You know, I mean, that's public life. Um, you don't, you don't, you don't make everybody happy. But I'm, you know, it certainly gives us um, a leg up and, and an understanding. I think the thing for us that is is unique is that, you know, I've proven to win elections and proven to run a campaign that very few people have. I've got a member of the former member of the Trump campaign coming to join the camp to join this effort and we'll be very successful. We're doing well in DC. But we're also doing well here at home 
and uh, people have called from counties all over Oregon. There's 20 counties in this congressional district, and I was just on the phone with friends this morning in Lake County, uh, Deschutes County, uh, Union County, Wallowa County, and Umatilla all this morning. So, you know, we're gonna, we're, I, I think it'll surprise a lot of people just how much work I've been doing over the years. Uh, just because I love some folks. And in fact, my last book that I wrote was about the 2nd Congressional District, not at all <laughs> thinking I was running for Congress. It's just I love, love these folks. So I think uh, you know, we will put together a winning campaign. And, and if it's a crowded primary, I, we have a very clear path to win. If it's a narrow primary, we'll win. Uh, but we're, we're, not, we're not racing to get second. Okay. It's, a, it's certainly a fascinating time in D.C. politics. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you a couple sure, things yeah. that are going on. Uh, President Trump's European Union ambassador, uh, the U.S. top diplomat in Ukraine, and several members of the National Security Council say the president en engaged in a quid pro quo over USA to Ukraine for political gain. He says the call was perfect. Do you think it's okay for the president to do that? You know, it's, it's you know, I'm jumping right into the lion's den. I, sure. I, I think that a lot of what the president's done was, is probably his own making. I think uh, from what I've seen, um, it doesn't look good, but I don't think, I don't, I think on the very thin line, he won't get, uh, he didn't do anything wrong. I do think he'll end up getting impeached, and I do think he'll get reelected. And um, I need to be in position to, to work with, you know, the president for the last four years of his term. Uh, are you pro-life or are you pro-choice? I'm pro-life, 100%, always have been, and, and will continue to do so. And your views on the Second Amendment? Uh, I was joking with a uh, representative of the NRA that uh, of everyone running for office, I probably own more firearms. <laughs> I'm a very strong Second Amendment. I am an active outdoorsman, and, um, and we'll leave it at that. I appreciate you taking the time. Sure. Thanks for having me. Thanks yeah, very much. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Thanks for doing this. Stay with us. We'll be right back.